If you're just starting out with us, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. We've been doing a series of pipe welding videos. In previous episodes, I believe we've shown some two inch schedule 80. We did a downhill procedure. This one's gonna be an uphill 5G two inch schedule 80. I'm going to go ahead and tack up these test coupons in the test jig here, the fit up jig. I'm using a spacer that I use for my downhill fit and I'm, I've opened it up just a little bit more. I want just a little bit more gap because we're running uphill. I'm gonna be using eighth inch 6010 for the root. I'm gonna clean the root out, run a little bit of a, a quick fill pass uphill. We're gonna finish it out with 332 7018. I'm gonna run all of it on the same amperage. I usually do because eighth inch 6010 and 332 7018 run at the same amperage. Sounds a little strange. It's a difference in the characteristics of the rods. I'm gonna probably tack this up in three tacks. I'll put a fit tack up here at the top just to hold the spacing. It will, I'm trying to hit about quarter of an inch long on that first tack. I'm gonna turn it 180 degrees and tack it again with about the same size tack so that if I need to move this or pivot it, I want both sides to be pretty equal. The third tack I put in might be slightly longer. Uh, and then I'll leave one side open so that I can just start at the bottom and run all the way to the top without, without worrying about anything. My attempt here, so I've got this tacked out, I've got the, the top tack and the bottom tack feathered out so I can tie into them. The opposite tack over here on the back side is I didn't do anything with it because I don't want it to break in case this side shrinks. So I'm going to start on bottom, come off that tack, establish the keyhole, and come all the way up here to the top. I'm probably going to have to hold to be steady the rod against my finger to start with. But I got to make this transition quick and I feel my stinger lead. I'm going to hang my stinger lead up here so I don't have the full weight of it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to start out down here and I'm going to come up like that. On larger bore pipe, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a lot easier for, for me anyway, personally, to get steady and just be completely back here. But on these small ones, since I'm trying to move so fast, it just helps if I hold it between my fingers to start. So here's what we got before we do any grinding. I just buffed it off, buffed the slag off. You can see the root that's, it's kind of way down in there. I want to come in and touch this with a thin bladed grinder. Make sure there's no slag and stuff on the edges that I could trap when I do my hot pass. I want to grind my starts and stops. This one's kind of high. That one's a little bumpy. No big deal. We're going to clean it all up. I haven't looked inside yet, but it sounded like it went in pretty good. So I'm gonna do some more cleaning with the grinder. I'm ready for a hot pass here because if I try to just cap this off, for me, I don't, I don't feel comfortable carrying that much metal in that deep of a groove. I realize this is Schedule 80 and I do have some mass there, but I'm, I just wanna put a quick fill hot pass in here. I don't mind running these half burnts. I'm real confident that I'm gonna get to the top with a little half burnt rod and that's cool. The technique I'm going to use is, I'm going to strike the arc, establish the pool, step out of it, let it freeze, come back down a little bit. 
It's different than a downhill, okay? Establish the pool, step forward, let it freeze, and come back down on the leading edge. It's like you're just stacking individual dimes. I like to watch the leading edge, make sure I'm burning out slag, try to leave this as flat as possible. And I want to underfill this. I want to leave room for my 7018 cap. I'm going to go clean this off, buff it. If I have some high spots, I'll take care of those with a thin bladed grinder. Didn't we do a video on I can't see? I need a fresh lens in this puppy. I think man cubs have been using my hood or something. I didn't grind anything except for one of the starts down here when I did that uh, when I did that hot pass fill, whatever you call a hot pass, which filled it up. Basically, I just knocked the slag off of it. It's at the depth that I want. I did make a machine change. I turned my machine down another three amps or so. It just, the pipe's already hot, so I went ahead and turned the machine down just a little bit. This technique that I'm gonna use is pretty much stay right in the pool all the time. Weave this back and forth very slightly. I'm watching the edges. I wanna establish this crown or reinforcement no higher than an eighth. I'm gonna run out of rod. Let me go buff this rascal off. I'll be right back. Okay, I hope that offered some help on how to complete this whole run. We did uphill root, eighth inch 6010. We did a hot pass, eighth inch 6010. We did 332nd 7018 for a cap. Uh, I got a little high. I did this side back here and uh, I got just a little bit high. I stalled out. I got myself in a position where I couldn't catch my bifocal or something and I kind of paused and it got, it got just about high enough. But this is kind of what you want over here. Just a, a nice gentle crown. Again, I hope that helped. If we can help in any way, please contact us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks so much for watching.